features that you can do sort of multitasking. Uh, you, you may be surprised that MAPS itself uh, for Malaysia, we, based on our tracking, we have found that um, on average, if the user will have to, will have to start using Nokia MAPS, on average, it used five times per month, which is actually quite positive. Is this a port landscape, right? Only portrait. Um, All the when you are having viewing gallery or pictures, yes, it support both landscape and uh, portrait. But when you are at the main menu, <coughs> it only support the portrait. Maps. And if you are trying to open the device, of course, this is glossy finishing. You may find it a little bit difficult. So there are two ways. Either you can use your thumb to just put below the Nokia three one one there. And then from there you can actually just press the battery cover can be removed. Or you can use your palm, just hold hold it against the device and then just push it up. Less sensitive, huh? Yeah, it's still sensitive. It's still sensitive or less sensitive? It's still sensitive. Of course, uh, all touch screens, depending of course, if you're locked, uh, if your hand is more oily, maybe it will increase that sensitivity. Then um, this device, although it's just a three-inch screen, when you're writing or uh, composing your SMS, you still can choose to have it in the full quality mode or the ITUC mode on, on the landscape itself, or even on the 